Okay, my three favorite Disney movies are Coco, Little and Sisters 2, and Frozen 2. And this is my uh, second or third favorite. My first favorite is Little and Sisters 2. Such as a girl. That's for Disney films. Now, I think this is my second favorite. Or my third. I'm not sure. Okay. Anyway, I'm reviewing Coco. Uh, so... This is the list I have. <coughs> I'm going to cross off where I'm done. So I saw this in 2017, I think, in the drive with my dad. And um, it was a really good movie. I was surprised how good. It starts out kind of rough, and but once he gets, plays the guitar and the app, he gets sent to the app, like that's when the pace thing, uh, that's when it really starts getting interesting because I feel like his family is a kind of dick to him because they're not... Uh, uh, his family and after and also and the life is no one's no one uh, is supportive of him on his dream. So I feel kind of bad for him, and I, I just want to slap them. Uh, but then we realize there's a reason why it's because the father was a musician and supposedly he abandoned the. Uh, uh, his daughter, but really he didn't. He was just murdered by this con other cantar player who was a musician. He wanted to go to Hank. Hank was his family, and the the other musician, other musician, wanted to go to um, uh, make more music. So the he poisoned their drink, and he figured out in afterlife. That his drink was poisoned, and uh, and Coco figures it out first, and uh, figures it about at the same time, and um, so they both get banished uh, from his palace, and um, and the musician that is supposedly Coco's grandfather. Only to reveal the real, his real grandfather is the one that's been, is the one that got poisoned, who is the one that the, he's been blind with the entire time in the afterlife. And who's been hanging out with someone saying that family's more important than everything, including music, including your dreams. I don't know about your dreams, if your dreams more important than family, because, I don't know, that seems kind of stupid, because family's not going to be around forever, you know, but your dreams will be. Right, so it's a little retarded. the 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 brains of this film's a little tired. That's why it's my third favorite movie. But it what really saves this movie from jumping the shock of being too stupid is the emotion attachment to these characters and the uh, how colorful the film looks. Is and the color grading is really bright, and. I'm kind of surprised. Holy crap, this is colorful. Kind of frozen. Who made this film? And, um, you know, and, uh, I like it. Uh, who made it? Wait, the same people that made the first Frozen film made this? So I was kind of surprised because I like this film, you know? Um, I was wondering why they put the same amount of effort into Frozen movie that they put into this, you know? It, and I really teared up hard when he got, when Coco walked back to the act like when, uh, when uh, his friends died to fate, and uh, that he's been hanging out with the entire film, that's his, his grandfather, uh, his grand, his great grand gr grandfather, and uh, he never put his picture on the wall or any of his family members. But the thing is, the daughter, his daughter, she kept a picture of his, of him, in her drawer, and um. So, not only he can't cross over to the afterlife, he, he, she's starting to forget about him as she gets older and gets more sicker and you said some stuff to drop down. It's never really that explained and for some reason she's not in the end scene so I'm guessing she kind of died, This uh, the grandmother. I mean, she looked Asian, uh, so I wouldn't be surprised if she did and, uh, and it's, uh, 
it's a very emotional scene. So he gets back to the after the, the, the life, and he's and he's um and finally grants him permission to go home and play music. So he plays the song rem uh, to he goes rushes to rushes uh, wastes no time whatsoever. His family falls, falls him because he thinks he he thinks he struggles because uh, he wants to see his grandmother. I don't know. It's stupid how the family is so mean to him. And you're not really seeing the family's soft side attachments that went on attachment to Coco until the third act. After he gets home from the afterlife. Uh, yeah, uh, so that's my biggest gripe with the movie. Uh, so he plays a song, Remember Me, which is the song that, um, her father used to sing to her when she was little. And they used to sing together. It was her special song that he sang to her and they sang together. And, uh, he, he remembered the, all the... He remembered the letters by hot or Coco remembered all the letters by hot after hearing over one time. And he starts singing. He said he says his her poppy wanted to have this. Uh, 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 he tells her that. Uh and so he just starts singing playing the cantata and saying, Remember me? And no one stops him. I'm playing the kind of style although the mother tries to, almost tries to, but the mother gets stopped uh, by ruining this magical moment. And she starts singing it all together with Coco, the song, because she starts to remember her dad. And because of the song that Coco jogs her memory, that the song was made by her love. Oh, by her father's love. So, he, she takes out the whole photo, and I guess Coco, Coco hangs up all the pictures of his family, including his grand, great-grandfather picture, that, that was, he was forgotten by the family, except by his daughter, and, uh, and uh, she explained how she hasn't heard that song in a long time, and she she, she he was told by Coco was told by Coco how she told her that he loved her so much, and you're in, in the and I was in tears the entire time. It's just a really beautiful moment, and uh, and it's a really beautiful moment. So he just tries to. Not just when he decides to, I don't know, I don't know if he goes, goes across his dream on being a musician. I, mean, I don't know if he plans on being a musician, but he decides that he's like playing, playing music for his family. For now. I. And, um. And the one who stole that song was the guy that, uh. Poison, uh, 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 the grandmother's father, who is the bad guy in the film. And I like this, also like this scene when, uh, when, uh, he starts playing on the, uh, a song on the, um, uh, on the guitar, and, um, uh, the crowd likes it in the afterlife, and this thing is talented. I think he was the competition, uh, so, and uh, the, 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 the other dilemma is that, you know, he's becoming one with the afterlife. In other words, he's starting to turn into a corpse. Just like, and turn, turn into a spirit. Starting to turn into a corpse, his body's decaying, and, uh, you know, starting to turn into a spirit. So, as he gets back to the, in the, um, and gets out of the afterlife in time before the transformation is fulfilled, he's gonna be screwed. And uh yeah. 
So yeah, that's my review on Koga. I it has a this number of problems with this film, but I give it a ten out of ten for making me get that emotional when for Coco singing the song "Remember Me." I really get emotional when in that scene. I, it's it's hard not to get emotional. I don't. It's it's just that good of a film. Uh, it's that easy to overlook the flaws that the film has. So, yeah, bye.